Hello friends! In this video, I'll show you how to make a simple, not expensive inverter. This is full project, in which we consider the scheme, the working principle, the assembly and construction. All the necessary links is always under video. This converter is designed to provide rectangular voltage of 220 volt with 50 Hz frequency from 12 volt battery. Power is from 150 to 300 watt, depending on the components used. The scheme is very simple. I'm sure everyone will be able to do this. The circuit is push-pull converter. The pulse generator, based on chip CD4047. Same chip monitors, the field effect transistors. They operate in the switching mode. At each time, only one of them is open. If for some reason both become open, it cause a short circuit and transistors will burn out. It can happen if monitoring is wrong. Although CD4047 is not a specialized chip, control is quite good. The transformer is taken from old uninterruptible power supply unit. Its power about 250 to 300 watt. The primary winding has a middle point which is connected to the plus of the power supply. There are few secondary windings, so we must use multimeter to find those two outputs among which the resistance is more. In my case, it is 17 ohms. It is 220 volt output. The other pins can be cut. I drew a PCB. Before assembling, I recommend checking out all the details. It's preferable to select transistors with similar parameters. The capacitor in frequency control circuit must have low leakage and small tolerance. All these can be done with transistor tester. Now let's look what components you can use. Transistors, any end channel, VET, with voltage about 60 volt and current of 35 amperes, for example, IRFZ40, 44 and 48, IRF3205. Last one will provide power up to 300 watt. The circuit can operate with bipolar transistors but the power will be much less. The 0.25 watt resistors in the gate circuit can vary from 10 to 100 ohm, but preferably from 22 to 47 ohm. The values of frequency control circuit designed for 50 Hz, so preferable to use components of same values. Properly assembled inverter will work at once, but at first start should make security precautions. Replace a fuse with 5 to 10 ohm powerful resistor or 12 volt light bulb with 5 watt power. So, if there are problems, transistors don't burn out. At tidling, in normal operation the transformer is emits a specific sound and transistors stay cool. If so, remove the transistor or bulb and insert fuse. Consumption at tidling is from 150 to 300 milliamperes depending on your power supply and transformer. Next, I measured output alternating voltage in the range 750 volt of multimeter. It is 210 volt to 260 volt as the output is not stabilized. Then, 60 watt light bulb connected as a load, but not more than 10 seconds, since transistors aren't installed on the radiators. They became a little warm, both about equal temperature. If the heating isn't equal, you have to look for the cause. 
By the way, the inverter is provided with an additional control function. All the power supply plus is directly connected to a midpoint of transformer. It is necessary to start the generator. Plus the generator is fed through a low power button. I assemble the inverter in the housing of the computer power supply. Transistors are mounted on individual radiators. If mounted on a common heat sink, do not forget to insulate them. The cooler is connected directly to 12 volt. The main disadvantage of this scheme is that there is not short circuit protection. Transistors will burn out if short circuit happened. So I added one ampere's fuse at output. Transformer tires go directly to the radiators, so they must be isolated from the metal housing. Energy meter connected to the output can check the frequency value. If the frequency is different, from 50 Hz. It can be adjusted through multi-turn resistor R4. A tidling transformer is sounds, but with load it runs quite silently. As I say, the inverter output is not stable. Most modern appliances operate in a voltage range of 90 to 280 volt. My inverter varies from 210 to 260 volt. If you get the output above 300 volt, it is necessary to connect additional load 25 watt light bulb, which will reduce the output voltage. Devices with collector engine and iron transformer can also operate from the inverter with rectangular pulses output, but will heat two times more. It is not recommended for use with induction motors.
starter weights about 2.7 kilograms. Not a few if compared with impulse converters. It is mainly due to the transformer. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.